when it comes to Coda AI, there are three fundamental building blocks that you can use. And these are the AI assistant, the AI column, and AI blocks. In this video, we are exploring these three foundational concepts and models in Coda AI to understand how the new features released by Coda for Coda AI can integrate within your existing docs and tables in your Coda ecosystem. Here is an example doc. This is taken from the Coda template gallery. It's a meeting notes example system using Coda AI to generate summaries as well as action items from meetings. So in this doc here, you will see the first block in here is a Coda AI block that generates a meeting summary. Then we have a table with agenda items and there is an AI generated column in here to generate action items for each meeting getting the context from the meeting page. And you can also see the AI writing assistant available on any block or position on a Coda page because you can open the AI editor by selecting control plus space. And then you can write your prompt for Coda AI, which in the background is currently using OpenAI as Coda states in their website although they are also experimenting with other models as well as building their own in-house model of Coda AI. So let's start from the first component here, and that is the AI Assistant. The AI Assistant is useful for writing free text. So you can select existing text on a page and change it, edit the text, change the tone or whatever edits you want to make. Or you can also prompt the AI Writing Assistant to write a blog post, an email, or whatever type of content you need, like you would with ChatGPT, but in this case, it's natively integrated within your Coda page and doc overall. So you can always prompt control space to write the writing assistant, and then write your prompt here with as many details as you like. And once you have that prompt, here you can also use pre-made components like that and you can create it. Coda AI will do its job to create the post for you, in this case, the press release. And then you can see that the output is automatically generated. And if you want, you can do additional edits to refine that content, to summarize it, shorten it. You can translate into different languages and you can also change the last prompt and repeat the process. Here you can give feedback to Coda AI and you can keep this or you can change the prompt in here directly. And the text is already selected for you. So you can elaborate maybe like that and Code AI will rewrite it again, this time with a bit more details, just like that. Once you're happy with it, you can keep the content that you have. And whenever you have a text on a page, you can also select that text at any time, open the AI prompt command and you can edit that text freely as you want. Also keep in mind that you can also mention things specifically on the prompt for Coda AI. You can mention buttons, you can mention columns in a table, you can mention entire tables or any object within your Coda doc or Coda pages where you're using Coda AI. And that's very powerful because that means that you can use variables to dynamically update your content within Code Docs so that it can stay relevant. And you can also connect information together from different places, building them into your Coda doc in a centralized way, thanks to variables. And these variables are also useful for the AI column in Coda that you can see in action here, for example, the AI generated action items. And if we look at how the AI column works, let's open this page. And we have here a view of that meeting agenda items table. Here there are some columns covered the topic name. There are notes. That is a canvas column where there's some text in here like that. Within that canvas, there is also a table for feedback from users that you can also control with this control value to hide all the items or show them. And there are other columns that are hidden in the canvas that you can also find at any time going to edit layout. 
and you will see these columns if you want to show them directly on the view here. So the AI generated action items is a text column that uses the AI feature here to prompt this column to pull action items from notes. So that's a dynamic variable here again that we're looking at this time on a coda table. And the notes is a column, is a canvas column on this table that is right here. And we are asking this coda AI column to pull action items based on the notes inside the meeting page. And in here, we can also very easily define the length of the output that we want, the tone, as well as the format on the output. In this case, it would be checkboxes that you can see here. And you can also open that like this to see all the action items. You can refresh it at any time using this button here. And that is how you can integrate Coda AI and prompts, custom prompts, within a text column in Coda tables. Now let's get back to the three fundamental blocks of Coda AI. We've seen the AI assistant and the free text that you can write on the page. We've seen AI columns, in particular text columns, that you can enrich with your custom prompt and refresh whenever you need them to be refreshed. And finally, there's also the AI block that can be easily integrated within a Coda doc or Coda page. And it looks like this. There is a meeting summary, for example, here of the meeting that is this page, taking all the topics that are on the table and the context here. And you can see if I click on the three dots right there, I can change the prompt. Currently, the prompt is summarize agenda, that is a table where all the topics are listed down here, and problems and decisions, that is another table that you can see down here in two sentences. And then the length, there is no length, the tone is casual, and the type, there is no type, so it's free text. And that's how the prompt works in this AI block. And once you create it, it would summarize in two sentences the content from those two tables dynamically. And you can refresh the content or the output of Coda AI at any time right here. To create an AI block, you can type slash AI block and then customize it exactly as you need it to be. So AI blocks can be very useful to get content from maybe a table or pages that have a lot of content that you don't want to pass through, but you want to get an overview and key insights from that content. And that's why AI blocks can help you with that so that you can pull data from many rows of a table, for example, and get the key insights that you need to see. And if you want to see more details, you can pass through all the content on that table, for example. That's the AI block, and that is the overview of Coda AI right now that is still in beta and free for now, and the three fundamental components of Coda AI that are assistant, column, and block. Of course, these are the primitive components of Coda AI, and because of Coda's incredible flexibility to create control values and buttons and dynamic filters on a doc and on pages and on tables, you can use AI very creatively, integrating it within your current Coda skill set and using different controls and crafting the user experience to make it as easily integrated within the user journey and how people use your Coda docs as you like. If you have any questions or comments, you can drop them down below in the comments. You will find all the links in the description to learn more about Code AI and what you can do with it. Thanks for watching for now and see you soon.